Welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be playing Space Engineers, so let's get into a new world. We're going to start out in this landing vehicle. We're going to try to find a spot to land and start up our base. And I typically choose to do one a spot that's near ice, because ice is flat and that's easier to build on, and it's also easier to find where ores are underground. We're getting close to a patch of ice, and I'm going to be looking for different ores that I can use to make different things. You can see that we're starting to detect some of the ores underground right here. You can also see that it's like darker in the ice which helps you find sort of where the ores are going to be. So I'm going to keep looking. So another spot in the ice has gold, silver, and let's see, typically they come in groups of three ores. Um, let's see if there's a third in here. Um, maybe it's a little deeper down. It's hard to tell. Uh, no, it looks like it's just gold and silver in that. So I'm gonna keep looking. Here's an example of some dark spots on land. You can kind of see them. Uh, this one has uranium, which is something that I really need, so I think I'm gonna set up a a base around here. So let's go over and try to land. So the landing gears, we want to try to get them flat with the surface. I believe, yep, they're all, you can see the green means they're attached, which means we're all attached. So let's go push K to go into the menu and we will find all the atmospheric thrusters and we'll turn them off to save energy. So this is the interior of the spacecraft. Or, well actually not spacecraft, it's just for planets, but they got some screens to tell you what you to do. Uh, in the bottom there's a refinery and assembler and a medical station which is necessary uh, because it can help you uh, fill up the stats in the bottom left corner. So let's go out and, and see what it's like on the ground. So let's turn on our, our light and open up our helmet because we're on Earth and there's oxygen here. Um, yeah, so the way the building works in this game is you don't make the blocks first for some of the types of blocks. Or, yeah, basically for, for the blocks, you 
Let's grind this down a little bit first. Yeah, so what you do is the blocks in this game, you place sort of like an outline of the block. And then once you uh, weld the block together using the welding tool, it becomes the actual block and gets a little stronger. So let's see if we can line this up a little better. So you can see we have the block and we weld it together. You can see in the uh, right hand side of the screen there's a um, list that tells you what kind of components you need in order to build the block. So with these blocks it's just steel which the this lander comes with some materials you see in here we got some steel computers construction components large steel tube power cells and up here we got some displays solar cells interior plates and motors and these allow us to build various things so let's go and build more of a platform So, we made ourselves a little platform, and let's start building some blocks up so that we can have a place to hold our solar panels. And it might look like this isn't a good place to put solar panels because, well, it's dark, but the day and nighttime cycle of this game, uh, the default at least, is two hours long. And one of the stats the player has is their hydrogen powered jetpack. And this does not last as long on Earth because, well, it's always going against gravity and in space it's just moving you and when you're staying put in space it's not really needing to apply any force. So on Earth it requires a whole lot more so what we have to do um, in order for it to last a while is take these hydrogen bottles uh, from our generator which is back there I think and that will allow us to last a lot longer while we're in the air and we have more blocks than the ones just in the bottom bar so if we push G you can see there's a list of a bunch of blocks which I have a bunch of mods in here so that's why there's a lot so let's search solar panel and we can rotate the blocks so that they're facing that way and you can see with these blocks they require a whole lot more different types of resources in order to build them so the first thing they need is steel plate which we already have with us The next thing we need is construction component, large steel tube, etc. So let's see if we can get all that. Some objects in the game take up more of your inventory than other objects. For example, power cells take up a whole lot of space. This game is not limited by inventory slots, it's limited by how much of certain objects you can hold. You can see the stats up there of how much I have in my inventory. You can also see at the bottom of the uh, screen there's a little bar that shows how much of my inventory is full. So right now it's a little less than half. When it gets a little larger, or when there's more, when there's more stuff in the inventory, it gets like close to the edge and it gets red. So that's something to look out for, and it takes up more fuel from your jetpack. that we now finished a solar panel and these lights right here indicate how much of a charge they're getting from the sun 
which right now you could see nothing but when they're actually getting some power you could see they turn blue I think or green I don't remember and depending on how much sunlight they're getting based off the angle and you can put these on some rotating blocks to get them to get more sun in certain parts of the day and you can edit what rotation they're at as well as having solar panels it's always good to have batteries also these batteries use up a lot of power cells but we have a lot back over there You can also see to the right of the screen, w next to the list of the components, how much percentage health this block has. And also, you can see how much you need in order for the block to be functional. For example, if I place this cockpit, for example, it's not functional right now. I can't go in it. But once it gets past that functional line on the bar over there, then you can actually use it. But the more you add to it, the longer it'll last if it gets hit or you ram it into something. One thing that gives you a lot of resources from this is grinding down these large thrusters. You can see that it gives more than a thousand motors, which is a, a whole lot of stuff. So let's start grinding. And you can see if you destroy something when your inventory is full, uh, the parts just lay on the ground and you can press F to pick them up. Let's go pick them up now. And for the base, there's different things you can do. I'm, I think I'm just going to put it above ground, but you can actually like mine into the ground and build an underground base. Which I might do in the future, maybe inside of a mountain. And that might look cool. But for now, it's just going to be on top of the ice. Another thing that's useful to have is a reactor, which does require a lot of materials, but it creates a lot of power. And since we have a uranium deposit over there, it will be a really good thing to apply power to our base. It also gets a bit dark in the game, so you can also place lights. It, it looks like it has some light on it. Let's get a um, a control station so we can s control the light and basically just control everything on the base. And also in this game, you don't just build things, you can also take apart things. So you see this flight seat, we're not really going to need it anymore because, well, we're already at the spot we want to be, and we're going to be basically taking apart this lander and converting it into our base on the, on the ground so that we can continue further in the game. So let's grind up this. So now that we have it grinded up, we have its parts in our inventory, so you can see all those parts. That should be enough to finish our control station. It turns out that we still need a few displays to finish it up, so let's go over to the assembler and see what it costs to make displays. So you need silicon and iron. We can then put some of the steel that we get from grinding things into the assembler. And then we can go to the disassembling tab. We can click and then it will disassemble them. So that we get the resources back from it. So these were, these were originally made from iron, which means we get iron back from them. 
and computers we can also put in there and we can start disassembling some computers and these computers I believe have silicon yeah so therefore we can then go we need more silicon so let's disassemble more of this there we go so now we got a few displays that we can then put on this over here which sort of shows that we can repurpose different parts from from this lander and then turn them into other parts and then put them into place in our base so let's go in here and push K you could see a list of all the blocks that that this is connected to so let's go to this light uh, let's change its radius to be up all the way you can see that creates a lot more light let's go back to it um, increase the intensity a little bit there so now it's a bit brighter over here you can kinda see where the let me turn off my lights you can kinda see where the radius of the or well the perimeter of the circle that it's creating out of light is you can also go in here and change the color of it for example if I want it to be green I can turn up the green value right here you can see it's very green so let's go back into it just make it a blue bluish color not like t too bright of a blue but just enough to where it's like a slight blue there it's a, a little purpley but eh, it'll do let's make the base a little bigger so that we can fit more things on it for example the refinery is really large so we're gonna need a lot of space for that spot for us to store the assembler so you can see I dug a little hole we can then put this in and rotate it so we can access the port and this will require a lot of resources but not as not nearly as much as the refinery a cool thing about welding the blocks is you could sort of see some models that they made for showing sort of what's inside so as you go it changes so let's bring an example of this you can kind of see it starts out as this like mesh looking thing and then it adds more and more until it gets to the final state it appears that we're running low on silicon so I think we're gonna have to go out on a, on a mining trip and I don't remember exactly where it was I think there was some up here so let's go up and see don't remember how far away the spots were I guess there's some spots over here. Okay, you can you can sort of see the ore detector doing its work, showing me where the ores are. So let's start digging down. You can see at a certain level it changes from being dirt to stone. And then within the stone is the ore, so let's keep going. Okay, you can kind of see the, the darker spots. Those are silicon, so let's see how much we can get. We got a whole inventory full, so let's see how much we get from it. So we put this unrefined ore into the refinery. You can sort of see it's making some right there from this, and then we can put this into the assembler which the reason I'm able to do it from here is this whole thing is hooked up using the conveyor system you can sort of see this is a acceptable port for conveyors to hook up here's a conveyor right here and they just hook up to the different things which allow you to transport materials between all of them so let's go make a few displays once we get some iron 
wait, never mind. I was just in the disassembling tab. So let's make a few displays so we can finish up our assembler. We finished up our assembler on our little base. And all we need is power, which, well, we're waiting for that. And then this should be functioning just like the one in there. And you can also, you see these little square thingies. You can apply upgrades to that to make it go faster, which we're going to do in the future. That's going to be it for this episode. So if you like the video, press the thumbs up button. And if you want to see more of these videos, subscribe, and I'll see you later.